for District Teacher of the Year. When I call your name, if you can come through the board line again and remain a leader by cabinet members, please. From Berkeley Intermediate School, Ms. Cassandra Calvin. <laughs> Calvary has been passionate, poised, and enthusiastic about teaching music at Berkeley Intermediate for the past four years. She's in her sixth year of teaching, and Principal Saul Shaw says she brings enthusiasm, energy, and encouragement to all aspects of education. Congratulations, Ms. Calvary. <laughs> From College Park Middle School, Ms. Lisa Muggio. Her student is evident in her project lead the way in classes. Her sponsorship of the Vets Robotics team and her co-chairing the Squire Society. The hundreds of hours that she has supported the Robox team has led to students qualifying for national competition. Competition. Congratulations, Ms. Maggio. <laughs> From Daniel Island School, Mr. Jason McDermott. years of teaching. He is a true force within his sixth grade social studies classroom, as evidenced by the Shark Tank activity he used in teaching ancient civilizations and through his flipped classroom approach. He also leads students as a football coach. Congratulations, Mr. McDermott. <laughs> From Devon Forest Elementary, Ms. Emily <laughs> Principal Mitchum says, her high expectations and optimistic attitude are a positive influence on her students, parents, and colleagues. She's a former technology coach who embraces diversity in each child's uniqueness. Congratulations, Ms. Washington. <laughs> From Goose Creek High School, Ms. Amanda Cooper. Cooper's classroom thrives with innovation, creativity, and best practices that empower students for success, according to Principal Washington. As a lawyer, Ms. Cooper fought for at-risk youth, and she now supports them through law education, youth court, and service learning classes. Congratulations, Ms. <laughs> From Goose Creek Primary, Ms. Rebecca Friedman. She makes them happen to ensure that students grow according to Principal Sullivan. Her passion to meet all students' needs is seen in her work with the district ESOL cohort through service on the PBIS committee and in her classroom design. Congratulations, Ms. Cooper. <laughs> From Hanahan Middle School, Ms. Brittany McGain. treating each child as her own. She advocates for students through serving on the school planning team, coaching Special Olympics, and co-chairing the IOP Autism Awareness Program. Congratulations, Ms. McGain. <laughs> From Westview Elementary School, Ms. Julia Roland. Practices, in addition to engrossing students in early learning daily within her fourth grade English classroom. Congratulations, Ms. Rowland. <laughs> Folks, those are our top eight, but I have one more to walk through the line. In case y'all haven't heard, Mr. S Nick Snyder is one of our state finalists for state. <laughs> Thank you. 
According to Tim McDowell, principal of Cane Bay High School, Nick has a fifth gear when it comes to teaching. He is able to bring passion, enthusiasm, and innovative teaching every day to his classroom. He does not take a day off when it involves his students. He's the teacher parents hope for when they ask their children on that first day of class, do you like your teacher? We don't have to guess what the students' response will be either. The students love Nick Snyder, plain and simple, and so does Cane Bay High School. Nick, we're behind you 100%, and we wish you the best in the state teacher of the year process. Enjoy the journey. Congratulations. Thanks.